he's such a fake YouTuber. Like, that, that dude freaking is so fake. All of his videos, his profits, everything. He's such a fake YouTuber. Ross, are you kidding me? Like, no. Steven, his profits can't be real. Ricky Gutierrez, no. Like, that dude, that's a, they're just fake. They're just furus, like. Welcome to Young Money Investments. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the furus, the gurus, why people are making YouTube videos on wanting to teach people how to trade stocks. Why am I teaching people how to trade stocks? Do you're not really a question. I see a lot of hate and anger, especially in some of the popular YouTubers uh, comment sections about trading stocks. I was watching a video recently on a trader named Steven Ducks who made roughly about $256,000 in the month of January uh, trading stocks. He is probably by far one of the greatest uh, penny stock traders out there and crushed it. Um, I see a lot of comments and a lot of times when these YouTubers then go out of their way to make videos on how to train and teach people um, and people say, why do they care? If they're making so much money, why would they wanna teach people? Ew, they're just fake, like there's no way, they're just making money off of scamming people. And the reality is, is I think that that is the probably furthest thing from the truth. And I wanna talk about my reasons why I do YouTube videos and why I'm out here teaching people how to trade stocks. The first reason that I started this channel and everything since then has been all about helping friends and family learn how to create another stream of income um, and not be stuck in the rat race, stuck in the normal nine to five. This was never my plan to make this a part of my career, to make this a part of my job. This is simply something that I have loved to do ever since I was probably 16 years old and back in high school. And so the reason why I run a YouTube channel and why this was started was because I couldn't handle the number of people that were coming to me on a daily basis that wanted me to teach them how to trade. That is what this channel has started with and that's really what this channel has continued to stick with. I create free content on YouTube and you can find free content anywhere on YouTube. You don't have to pay a dime. You don't have to pay for any service, any subscription. You can get all that information here at absolutely no cost. The reason why I do it and why I believe a lot of other YouTubers do it as well is because at the heart of things, we love helping people and it is such a joy and such a neat thing to see other people succeed and you get to be one of the reasons and the catalyst behind that. So one of the big you know, negative connotations that is always said is, why teach stocks if you make so much money? And I think the first answer for that is businessmen never quit. Did Warren Buffett say, oh, I've done it, I've hit a, mil I've hit a billion dollars, I made a billion dollars this year, um, I, don't, I don't need to make any more money. No, he's 80 some years old, I wanna say he's 86 years old or 88 years old, and the man is still working. He's not retired. He drives a very frugal car. He lives in a very frugal house in Omaha, Nebraska, and does not enjoy the finer things of life. Yet he is still running a multi-billion dollar corporation. And so do we look at those men and say, oh, they're just fake, oh, they're just garbage. They're, they're, they're. No, we admire them, we, we're, we admonish them for the things that they've done. And I think that's the thing with a lot of the YouTubers out there as well, and at least for myself, I can say, I'm a businessman, I love business, I love the challenge. Why not create other streams of income, especially if I can help other people and continue to grow and build that brand? That is really what all businessmen should do. You don't get to a point and go, okay, I'm making enough money at this, I, I don't wanna branch out, I don't wanna continue expanding, I don't wanna continue learning, I don't wanna continue growing. No, you don't say that. When people ask, when is it enough? I always go, when is the legacy enough? I think for me personally, I wanna create a legacy. I don't want, it's not about the money. The money is nice. The money is a nice um, product of, of success. But really at the end of the day, it's all about creating a legacy. It's about creating something that I'm proud about, that I'm passionate about. Um, and that is, that, that's why I do it. It puts a smile on my face every single day. I want to create something that is bigger than me. And that is what this YouTube channel has done. Another reason, I don't know if this is my third, fourth, fifth reason, but it's because I love to teach. I love to teach people. Um, it's no different than a college professor. They go to school. Some teachers in high school maybe earn 30 some thousand, 40 some thousand dollars a year. Some college professors are probably earning north of 80 to 100,000 or more. I know freaking, you know, principals and superintendents and obviously deans of schools are making multiple six-figure incomes. Um, and we don't, we don't, you know, get angry at them. We don't hate on them that college is, you know, super expensive. 
we gladly pay for college. We gladly spend $10,000 a semester at XYZ University. Yet when we see a YouTuber that's out there making an income, making a living off of helping people in a non-traditional way, we, we just wanna hate, we wanna, we wanna destroy them, we wanna discredit them. And I think that's really sad because at the end of the day, we are no different than a professor. But on the, on the positive side, I think it's, we are providing skills that universities would never teach and never taught us. Um, and these are skills that personally to me, I think are probably more important than the calculus that I learned in college that was a required general ed class or the, I don't know, some of the English classes that were repetitive and really just the same thing that I learned in high school. I didn't learn any new special rules. And so those things, it frustrates me that we don't gripe or complain about those, but we will put all these negative things in the comment section. So that is something I think that we just gotta think about. Reason number 15 or whatever it is. Um, the next reason that I love to teach and the reason that I do YouTube videos is because trading's boring, let's be real. Sitting in front of a computer screen, going to town, looking at charts, looking at lines, this is not an interesting career field by any means. I think the interesting part comes from the sense of community, the sense of camaraderie, and the sense of a group that you can form by creating a YouTube channel and creating a course and creating a group of people around you. It is fun, it's a social way to do things. It is very antisocial to sit in front of a computer screen. I love sales because the other part of the year I get to go out and I get to be super social and almost too social and talk to people all day long. With trading, you don't talk to anybody. So if you don't have a, a outlet, if you don't have a way to communicate with people, it is a very antisocial thing. And so I think for a lot of traders, um, it is a great way to create a sense of community, to be involved and active with other people, and to learn from other people because more minds together are able to understand things a lot better. So at the end of the day, like I said, I just really love to teach. You know, I have so much free education out there, as do a lot of other YouTubers out there. Um, I hope that as you went through this video, it maybe sensed or kind of sparked, you know, a, a thought that hey, maybe these guys actually are making the money that they are reporting. And yes, there are going to be fakers out there, and there are going to be, uh, you know, the furus as they call them. I just learned that term like a few weeks ago. I'm new to this whole game. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, there are a lot of these guys that really are good hearted, that are doing good things. Um, Brad Smith, you know, has, has helped me out a ton. Own the Chaos, we'll plug his channel for sure. Um, great guy, great friend. I mean, it's helped me out a lot. And there's a lot of other great YouTubers out there that are doing this for the love of investing, for the passion of helping people. And hey, you don't have to pay anyone any money. These videos are all free on YouTube. You don't have to pay for a course. That is just a way to get better faster if you so choose to do that. But hey, this is one of the coolest things that like 10 years ago wasn't even around. This is a free library of endless knowledge and endless uh, just wisdom that you can learn all at no cost. And so take advantage of it. I'm glad you're watching these videos. I'm glad you're taking advantage of it. Catch y'all in the next YouTube video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't feel obligated whatsoever, but I would love to have an even greater uh, community and continue to, uh, to work with all you. Um, if you catch want, want to catch one of my other videos, catch one of these up here, down here, wherever at on the screen, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.